Hello everyone, um, I'm just recording this while I'm recording videos for my other channel, so I've got it up. Um, so I can upload it before I do the actual video. Um, this is an intro to a video um, for my craft channel, so hi. I know I've not uploaded for a while, but there's a reason behind it. Um, for those of you that aren't subscribed to my main channel, um, which there's not any subscribers on this, but still, um, my husband's been in he was in hospital for five weeks earlier this year and he's really just started to recover properly um, meaning he's back at work he's back doing full-time work on nights back to normal um, his body's starting to go back to normal uh, he's put weight on because he lost a lot of weight um, his scars and everything are healing um, there is there was a lot that went on um, but again, that's not my story to say. And we might cover that in another video, I might not. But one thing I've been doing lately is watching a lot of craft videos. I did actually film a slime video um, not that long ago. But it was a fail because I had the wrong type of sailing solution. Because borax isn't that easy to get a hold of here in the UK. And there's only a particular type of sailing solution that you can use to make slime. Um, so I'm going to look into getting some um, liquid starch or powdered starch and, you know, mix it up. But one person I've been watching a lot of is Nerdy Crafter. And she introduced me to this box. And it's the Sophie and Toffee Owls box. Now, usually it's a little bit bigger than this. Yeah, it's usually a little bit bigger than this. This is a really, re this is relatively small one. Um, it is the normal size one. But it's, um, and yeah, there's bells in it. And uh, it was a bit late coming because I only got it this week. Um, this is the September box. Um, so it was like, it's quite late. And apparently it was because some of, the, some of the stuff that they needed was late in arriving. I have already opened it, so I already know everything that's in here. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm already doing resin stuff. Um, I'll probably do some tutorials on that soon um, but I'm doing resin stuff already so in this you get UV resin uh, this is a UV light to set the UV resin the one I have is black and this one is a nice metallic blue then we have some bells and keychains Then we have two shaker pots. What these are is you put them on a key ring, and you put resin on the outside to seal them and over the little hole that's there. And then you put inside it anything like glitter, um, any little resin pieces, and this stuff here, which is food grade shaker oil. So we've got this one, which is clear, and then we have this one that's like a baby blue. So we have two of these. So they give you enough to do two of them. Um, a syringe to fill those in with. This is from Singapore so um, that's why a lot of the stuff isn't necessarily in English. This is a silicone mould for um, goldfish and then we have a mould for you know the cats with the waving arms. That's what that is. And then we have a um, mould for Mount Fuji. Because I think the the um, theme is Japan Mania, September Elves box. And then um, Hashtag your creations with the elf box on Instagram to get a chance to win a free box. Um, and then these, which are stickers that you can actually put in, in resin. And it actually shows your examples on the back. And then there is a large pack here of glitters. I do already have some of these, but you can never have enough glitter. Um, I do have some of... Um, some of these but there are some nice ones there's like beads there's chunky glitter 
the shape glitters, story glitters, um, some hearts and things. So there are a lot there. And then you've got a, lot, a wide range of colours and stuff. So granted they aren't that big. But when you put them all together there's quite a few there. So um, what I'll probably do is over the weekend I will do a video with these bits and pieces in and make a few bits with these items over the weekend and share them with you and then probably put some up on Instagram and then we'll go from there but yeah it's resin isn't easy to use but it's one of those things um but yeah thank you Nerdy Crafter um I do have this month's coming which I hope comes sooner rather than later because I think hopefully it's Halloween themed. So, um, cross fingers. So I love Halloween. So say, stay safe, be good, have fun, and I will see you soon. They're all set, so I'll put them to one side. Um, and grab. grab my heart <coughs> so we have this purple green glitter so we'll pop some in I already have a lot of glitters as well so um, they're behind me I even have some Halloween ones which I'm tempted to pop in here. But yeah, I've checked up another video. Um, what's the channel's name? Go away. And it's Phoenix Fireborn. And she, while well, she was putting the Glittering, she had that there, but eh. and some various different colour stars. And then we have purple circles. You can say they give you quite a collection, so which is pretty good because I think the collection I got had about five of those in it and it were a pound. <clears throat> So there are all my glitters. Um, I'm not going to put any Halloween ones in, but what I will do is because I have a both side. I'll put a thing of black crystals in. So now what we do is we go around the perimeter here. That's in fact what I'll do is I'll do you be on this one because it's got a lip. I should have done it the other way. So 
so I'm just taking the UV resin and going round the outside and I need to make sure you get all of it so it doesn't leak. And then you take your UV light, put that out of the way for a sec, and take your UV light, and then you do this. And now I have glitter on my table. Now, what this does is it hardens the resin because it is UV resin. So, don't make sure that I have a backup light now. Um, I think her light was blue. I think mine's blue. Yeah, it's blue. Um, but I already had a black one. So. I didn't put my thingies in. I'll put that in the next one I do. And. Right, and now that shouldn't come undone, and it isn't doing. There we are. If you hear any noises, that's just my husband is asleep in the next room. He's he worked last night, so. I is going to cheat. I cheated and put some of the oil in the needle. this way
Oh, seems to be working. So that's enough. For that. Now what you do is switch that off for a second. Clean it up. So I just literally in that little nozzle bit there, just put a bit of UV resin. And look. Nothing is coming out. I'll just put a little bit more UV resin on that member. Just for my own peace of mind, you know what I mean? And then in this bag we have the bells and <coughs> the keyring. Now I shall have this keyring. Actually, no, I'll have this one. And I will have the black and red. So. Have a little packet here, which has some drip in, and you're going to need two, but I've ended up with four. Sounds about right for me. Right. Ignore the paint on these because they're far from, I um, just borrowed them off a oh, project I have. So that clips. Onto there. Actually, no, I think I can get away with just the one jump ring.
And there we go. So there you go. I guess the I use the blue oil, so that's why it's blue and not clear. So let me just put them away. So that's my first one. Um so yeah, stay tuned. And I'll catch you later.